So I'll just quickly weave through the gear before I start. The palette, I've got the usual colours, ultramarine, lemon yellow, pines grey, lizard crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. I've got me tea towel for which I use to wipe the excess water off on the hake. I've also got the number three rigger and a three quarter inch flat for stuff that needs a sharp edge. Got the piece of plastic card for scraping rocks and whatnot. This water jar, this sharp lip on the side comes in handy for taking off the excess. There's not much left then for taking the rest off on the uh, on the tea towel if you want a dry brush. The paints I use are Cutman watercolours. It's a cheap range from Windsor and Newton, but they they do the job fine for me. And this is probably the most common colour I use, raw sienna. Use it everywhere, sky, ground, all over the place. Oh, we've got a piece of tissue to hand as well, just for the taking paint off the paper if I need to do so. I showed you all those colours but I'm just going to use a couple, I'm going to do a winter scene so it's just going to be burnt umber and ultramarine, see how I get on with just those pair. So I'm just starting by giving the paper a bit of a soaking, it's 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper, I'm using the, the large Ron Ranson hike here when you buy them, they are longer than this, the handles. I've I cut the end off because I'm trying to fit it in a bag I was using at the time. So that's why it might look slightly different to the ones you're using yourself. Now, this is Ultramarine. Ultramarine with a bit of burnt umber in it. And I just want to get a, a light area in the um, in the water. So if you can get it nice and dark. That'll do for me a little lighter area in the water. And then maybe just get a little bit of blue into it. A bit of blue on that side. A bit of blue on the other side. And then a bit more. A bit more in the sky. A bit dark on there. And then we'll go on this side. A nice little background to work with. So the paper stretched after I've uh, it stretched evenly. It's one of the advantages of soaking it all over at the start. Even though I'm using not the thickest paper in the world, it's 130 pounds, fairly thinnish. Because I've wet it all over, it's wet evenly, so it's just a case of once it's stretched, just refix it and you've got a flat surface, you don't get any cockling or anything. Um, so I might put a bit more, let's go put a bit of cloud, a bit more cloud, I think. Dark cloud there. Maybe just. And then. Someone on this side. A bit more blue. Moving right up. Sort of 
another dark bit in there just for another one underneath. I'm just sort of turning it around, just just trying to get random effects really, just see what happens. And obviously as it as it gets closer to the horizon, it gets narrower and narrower. Try and mix that up a bit. Clean the brush and uh So you use a clean brush like that and you can take a bit out. A bit on this side as well. So the brush is getting a bit dirty now so you don't get it quite as white. But and then you just now distant hills next so I'm gonna go more ultramarine than burnt umber nice and blue and then have a the horizon's gonna be about a third of the way up so first hill about there is it still damp? So I don't think it's damp enough to pull the pull the reflections down now. So I'll let it dry. I'll re-wet it once it's dry, and uh, and do the reflections then. And then to the left of that one, closer to us, is another another mountain. A bit stronger this one, so less water, more paint, and then just trying it that. See that, that profile there. So that's gone really dark now. Look. Plenty of pines. And then because that's damp there, you, it's just going slightly hazy at the top, just gives that little misty look. And then just make sure it's level, just even it out at the bottom, level it out. Get it parallel with the bottom of the page. And that's that landmass in. I think I'll give it a quick dry. Give it a quick dry. And then I'll put the reflections in. So now the, uh, now the paint's dry, I can be confident of taking clean water and just washing that and know that what I've already put down isn't going to go all over the place. So, wet that and then just try and replicate the colour you've got above it and then just pull it, just pull it straight down. <coughs> 